Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ty, and this is Discussing the Universe with Drake and Ty. And today's topic is why did Newton think of gravity when the apple fell on his head? Yes, it is a very so, deep, deep and emotional question that the, every single person in the universe has in one point in time thought of. Indeed. No. Okay, so, basically, do you, uh, do, do you know actually like the story behind that thing or whatever? So, uh, I do, but why don't you tell those in the audience who don't? Well, okay, so the whole, the whole like, thing, the whole thing is basically, like, you know, oh, the apple fell from a tree, it hit Newton on the head or whatever, and he was like, aha, things fall because of a force. But supposedly what actually happened is he just, like, you know, saw something fall and just, like, came up with an idea and just kind of put Maybe tests into it. Uh, so technically the apple landing on his head was just, like, a, a fabrication of the media. Just a little fun fact. Uh media fabricating things but that's, that's terrible that still doesn't change the fact that he saw something fall like the random freaking right. fruit and he was like that's it and the it, fundamentals of the universe speaking of fruit yeah. what's your favorite fruit what fruit? is my favorite fruit strawberries strawberries are really? my favorite fruit yeah it's technically fair, yeah. did you know that strawberries aren't even berries i did know that actually yeah, yes. it's very it's very weird. The naming conventions of the English language sometimes are just really strange. It can be you understood know, through know, thorough thought, though. Yeah, you yep. know what is you know what is a um, berry? Door. What a, a raspberry? A banana. Blueberry. Oh yeah. Uh, right. What I it, forgot about that. I swear, something. Okay, it's not watermelon. <laughs> I think something else weird is a berry too. Uh. I can't think of one right now. No, but what's, but what's your favorite, favorite fruit? fruit? Yeah. My favorite fruit is Japanese pear. Wow. It has this rough exterior, but then like a soft yet crunchy inside, and it's absolutely delicious. So it's like a burnt marshmallow. Not exactly. No, I think that's what... No, I, I, I understand that. <laughs> that's, the, that's the visualization. <laughs> yeah. Well, fine. It's like a delicious burnt marshmallow that doesn't taste burnt because it's very sweet. But yeah. Anyway, that's my favorite fruit. That's our favorite fruits. And Amazing. Um, I just wanna, if you I just, want to tell us about tell your favorite, us your favorite fruits, fruits, we have a Discord sure link in the description. You can sure even guest, guest star, okay? We, we are, we, running, we out are running out of people to guest yeah. star. So if you want to be on the podcast, message us in that Discord in the link below. Yeah. And we'll be like, sure. Make sure to follow the Instagram and to subscribe and hit that notification bell. As of hit the like, like button. Like the video. Hit the notification <laughs> bell. See you next time. Oh, wait, no, that's not. Wait a second. Wait a minute. Wait, wait we're what? not done. Wait, wait, we only been... Play the outro. We don't have an outro. Whoa. We should, we should have a funky done. outro where it goes like. Freaking out. Where it goes like, uh, One I don't second. know. Oh, uh oh. Oh, no. Okay, so uh, while while he's messing with that audio, um, hey guys, Drake here. Uh, did you know that uh, co coconuts are coconuts are uh, are weird? Okay, well, on the topic of fruit, I mean, is coconut even really a fruit? I mean, it probably is. It has like the seeds inside, but like, doesn't it have like the freaking coconut milk inside of it? And why does it have hair? Why is it literally? Why is it literally just like a freaking? mammal it's confusing me it has the milk and the hair and it's a living being so it is a mammal okay kind of it technically it needs nipples because that's the whole point of a mammal is it's mammaries get it get it that's that's the whole that's the entire point uh so yeah uh you ever hear about well, the the horse walks into a bar. Yep, that's a funny knock knock joke. Yep, you wouldn't. And that's not a knock knock joke. That's, oh no, oh no, Ty, Ty, please come back. And ah. I'm back. Wow, um, he's he, Wow, <laughs> amazing. He was never gone. Never. I was gone for about forty five seconds. Was, what did you tell the audience? Hopefully, none of my deep dark secrets. I was dying emotionally. I was in pain. I also I'm told sorry. them all your deep dark secrets, but I was also okay. in emotional pain. How many of them? How many of them did you? So how many reveal? do you have? A lot. That what? that plus one. 
Oh man. Yeah, yeah. All my deep dark secrets. How yep. I'm gonna take a long drink of water for this. Mm-hmm. I ha I just had Diet Coke, you know. Diet Coke. It's it's feeding my brain the energy I need to podcast. I, I infuse my Diet Coke brain. with brain juice, okay? You wanna understand? Speaking Speaking of big brains, yeah. you know who had a big brain? Isaac Newton. He did. He had a huge brain. Uh, yes. Gravity, gravity is very, I find it very strange. Okay? Really? It's like just, you can't, f any, any single like force on the planet or anything is always a weird to me. Weird for my brain to like comprehend. I'm not saying like, oh, it's fake. Well, the, the, the earth is flat. But what I'm saying is just like, it's not, you know, it's not like solid, liquid, whatever. It's not physical. It's not made up of anything. It's just, it, it, just, it just exists. It's just a thing. So, you can't comprehend it because you can't see it? No, no, or, not even that. Because you can't even, you can't even, you can, I can't see can't air, but I can understand it. I can, but you just can't interact with gravity. So what, what even, is it on a fundamental level? It's this force that gets stronger. Um, yeah, it's, exactly. It's it's weird. Uh, it's weird. It's just like a thing I, that exists. I took physics. I should know this. You took um, <laughs> You should be listing off every single detail about gravity right now, and yet you are not. I'm, no, because I'm ashamed. Even, no, because nobody really knows because it's so confusing because... You know, it's like, hey, the more mass is in a single area, the stronger the gravitational pull. And yet some random guy in the freaking, I don't know when it was, I'll be honest, I'm not the best with the dates. Uh, I'm just going to say, Newton hopefully time. it's, no, not 1700s, 16, no, maybe, actually wait later, I don't, insert time here that Newton was alive. Uh, some guy back <laughs> in that time was able to just figure it out. Almost perfectly. Look, he didn't figure it out perfectly. And he, yet, back then, knew. they were still they were still like freaking saying, "Oh, look, you got a you got a pimple. Ah, time to amputate the limb." <laughs> and yet no, he simply he simply gained a different perspective on why things fall. Like you know, he realized that there's a force at play, and that's the stuff that's pulling everything down. But why? Maybe why? Why could like, not anyone else figure that out from things falling down? It, People just believe things it, fell down just because, just, just because it does. Yeah. does. Yeah, that's just the way it works. And, I think specifically you know, it was like the rate at which you know the things fell and such, as in like it was consistent. Without, I think they only figured that out later. I mean, it wasn't I think too they much later. That out. I guess, but things falling at you the know, same but pace. That's, that's like the basic. That's the basic people. fundamental of gravity, though. Is that it's like a because the Earth is the same mass always, except for like I don't know some atoms changing kind of around the world a bit. Shaving off. Yeah, the shaving off the time. Yeah, uh, it, it's a consistent rate. Yeah, that's why people lost their minds when they saw the hammer and the feather fall at the same at the same rate on the moon okay well uh, oh heather the feather as well okay yeah that's because there's no there's no wind resistance yeah yeah, yeah that's the, the whole point that's the whole point yeah yeah because so unlike you they didn't understand air yet <laughs> what's heavier a, a kilogram of feathers or a kilogram of steel the feathers <laughs> the feathers but the feathers. but steel is heavier than feathers i, I can't do it I oh can't my do it. God. what is it scottish or i think it's scottish is the accent they're doing or well, not they're doing they are like scottish <laughs> they're performing their own accent <laughs> <They're>... obviously yes <laughs> I have some Scottish friends, actually. That's oh. the the anyway. the uh, another like the weird the whole physics concept that like my my brain it, it's it's simple now that I get it. But when I first heard about it, I was like, "What the heck?" Uh, it's the stu it's where basically you know you're you're moving in a car, right? And you throw up a yes. ball. The ball goes with you. Yeah. See, my stupid yeah. monkey brain and like uh elementary slash middle school is like no it has to go to the back of the car because it has to stay in place because that's how because it's not attached to anything uh, that makes uh, sense to my monkey brain but so tech uh, but it, it, no it doesn't it it stays relative to your stays. position yes but if you were to like record it and the car was like transparent you'd see that the ball would go in like an arc 
And technically yeah, that means like it you're, you're throwing it to yourself, not if you know what I mean. Like it's Kinda, going it's it, going the distance of like a baseball pitch, but you're standing in place. Not necessarily. No, but you I, I guess if you're going on like a tra- like a freaking train and it's going uh, okay. uh, monorail, I don't Here. know, and you throw you throw it's up a ball, gonna, what's the actual distance it's going? It's gonna go a f- it's gonna really go far. A far distance. Te- this is where things get trippy because relative to you, that ball's distance hasn't changed at all. Exactly. But relative to the person recording, the ball's distance is like yes. Massive. If you removed everything else from the everything else, like if you just could somehow set the magical theoretical camera to only see like a baseball, it would just see a super long arc of the baseball moving a super long distance. But yeah, it's yeah. just like minimal effort. It, that, feel, that feels so perfect. Pretty, yeah. It's kind of like, whoa. <laughs> That's neat. If you if you were like, if there was like a pool on top of an RV with a diving board and you just jumped off and there was no wind resistance, you would be able to just, you know, not fall off. You'd go right in. But because of wind resistance, uh, you just kind of, <laughs> you, might you, you would fall <laughs> off, definitely. <laughs> you, might, you might experience slight trauma. Slight. And by slight, I mean your body colliding with the freeway. And by, like, and, by, and by colliding with the freeway, I mean your body is now cranberry sauce all over the ground. Is that a Thanksgiving reference? Thanksgiving is over. Thanksgiving reference? Well, I don't want a lot for Christmas. I just want this song to stop playing. I actually do need to open my advent calendar, as it is now December 1st at, uh, at this oh, time of recording. That's so cool, epic. I have an advent no, calendar. Dude, I need to start working on a freaking Christmas animation. I was going to do one for Thanksgiving, but then I got really disheartened because last year I made one for Thanksgiving, but I never got to like use it. They were going to use it for like GMJB. Oh. I was going to be like, but then they're like, neat, ha, but then- ha, ha, foolish, Ty. You thought you would actually get your stuff in anything? <laughs> and then you're like, no. Exactly, exactly. Sad, sad. Yeah, but I will do one for Christmas, and I guess I need to do one for the new year. Epic oh my win. god, I need to make two. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, slight tangent. Isn't this just the entire podcast, though? That is, that's true. The podcast is comprised of completely tangent. no, tangents. If, if you came here to see us only talk about Newton and the Apple, then I'm, I'm sorry to, to disappoint you. <laughs> also, it's usually portrayed as a um, red apple, but like, why can't it be like a yellow apple or like a, it, it's like usually because red apples are like the most common it's described it, it, it's, as a perfectly not, white again, apple again because because uh the story itself has always been exaggerated for the sake of like iconography right. it's okay. pe- people will most be able to recognize an apple as being red because that's what most people when they go to the grocery store they're the specifically really good apples that are perfectly red and so they're like that's that's what an apple looks like Okay. How dare how dare we teach children that apples are perfectly red? We th- these injustices against society are brainwashing them to thinking untruths about the world. When they grow up and they go to the grocery store and they find one apple with a hint of green, they'll throw up in disgust. You you understand what's happening, Ty? <laughs> I understand. I'm, I'm, I'm calling sorry. for a movement now. <laughs> Contact your local schools, your elementary <laughs> schools, and demand them to stop teaching that A is for apple and instead teach that A is for uh, asymptomatic. Is, asymptomatic. Asymptomatic of what you might ask? Justice. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? I don't know what that means. That? <laughs> don't don't Dramatic, question. You don't know what asymptomatic means. No, I do. It's, okay. it, 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 hold on. Let me just make. Was, sure, let me just make sure uh, I'm using this right. Hold on. A asymptomatic. I was gonna say like it's a really common word, especially in these times. <laughs> asymptomatic. Uh, someone who is means- someone who is asymptomatic has the infection but no sim exactly they they know justice but yet they will <laughs> never they will never <laughs> truly understand no true justice them. see it worked in the end it worked they can't compel others to understand justice is what you're trying to say yes okay did you know that the apple is also like what a, a fruit of sin in like the bible or whatever 
it's it, it just happened comparison. to be an apple tree. Dude. But it turns <laughs> out that Adam was actually Isaac Newton the whole time. Oh my Fun god. Fun fact with a head gravitational physics figured out all the way since the dawn of creation. Incredible. <laughs> Dude, in English class today, um, yeah. my teacher was like, you know, so the Lord of the Flies is a direct reference to Beelzebub. Does anybody know what who or what that is? What? Who doesn't know what Beelzebub is? Wait, I, I was gonna... Who Beelzebub is? Please, I know that man personally. Okay. But like... But I, I was gonna raise my hand, but like nobody was raising their hand, and I've already raised my hand at like four times by this point. So I broke the three times the charm rule. Uh, so I didn't want to go for a fifth, you know, because then I'd have to go for a sixth just so I could do it twice. No, no, no! You gotta go for the fifth because otherwise you're stuck at four, and that's unlucky. Oh shoot! You're right. Four yeah. is the bad number. Yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, Drake, continue. Drake, do you believe in gravity? Okay. Do I believe um, in? <laughs> we just talked about it last at like two episodes again. Continue. We did that already. We, we, We've made this joke many times, but but yeah, like he was kind of like finally someone raised their hand, and it was just like Satan, and then he was like, "Thank you." It's like great job. Uh, yeah. The the origin of Beelzebub is such a weird thing because it's like three different mistranslations from different sources. Like one language no. translated it into another, which translated it into another, but each of them got something slightly wrong about the translation, and now it's literally just like. <laughs> A mass of words. Yeah, myths are just a big game of telephone, and you hope that you have the right answer and you pass on the correct information. I do think, like Beelzebub, also known as you know the Lord of the Flies, is what it translates oh, to. The... Yeah, yeah. Wow. Uh, I do think it's a pretty. It, it's one of the cooler names rather than I don't know, just oh, the yeah. devil. It's that, that's pretty boring because, like, you know, it's Lord of the Flies. Flies are associated with like corpses and decay. So I, I think it's yeah. I think it's a cooler name. Oh, um, I agree with this. Yes, I yes, agree yes. With this. Which also implies that Satan is a giant fly. Maybe. Can you well, confirm? Yes, pie? but actually, uh, I mean, you can't really say the true form of anybody who always conceals their true form. So I don't. I don't... Interesting. Very interesting. Um, we were talking about Isaac Newton. Uh, yes. I was thinking. I, I just had something on my brain, on my brain. Uh, you, you got it. You when got do you th- when do you think that tree died? What t- what time period was it around? Because they lived for a long time. Or was it just cut down? Or was it just like cut down? It could have been. Who who even knows? You know well, what, what like was, you was said, it? Was it freaking? Um. I don't remember. Was it Abraham Lincoln or George Washington? The one where it was George like George Washington. With the George tree, Washington. Tree. Yes. Uh, th- that wasn't real. It never happened. It was just a story people made up. Um, just a story. Yeah. But like, that's that's kind of weird thing with history. It's just like people know so many things, but then again, some of these things, some of the small details, it could just be made up by people. Uh, especially, <laughs> especially back then, because back then things were exaggerated all the time just because people wanted to do it. So it's very hard to yeah. tell if a person was exaggerating an account or not. <laughs> like, imagine, imagine you're some village girl, right? Named Abigail Williams or something like that. Yeah. And, you know, you're caught doing some weird stuff in the forest, right? Yeah. And you're like, it was the devil or something. Like, wouldn't that be weird? Wouldn't that be wacky? That'd be weird, dude. That'd be, that'd be pretty wild. <laughs> Sorry, we were, uh, we were making um sandwich trial references in six period. Yes, it was very. I, I honestly don't know why we were doing that, but continuing I, on. Um, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, also, back then, back then too, not a lot of people knew how to write stuff, so you had to. Yeah, ha- historians have to trust the people who could write, and of course, with the whole, you know, that's, the vi- the victor, the, the victor writes power. the story. The people with power would ov- obviously write themselves and conditions in like a higher favor than anything else. Yeah, I, like to be honest, who wouldn't do that if you were given the opportunity to write about yourself? Like, but you, you'd totally just write about yourself as some like god figure. But what what's you know? cool is that not everybody could write, but everyone could technically like draw. They could draw like art of things and stuff. So that's where I I, I don't, I'm not a history buff. 
I predict that a bunch of like old old timey stuff comes from artwork. I I I I, hmm. I predict. Uh, that's my hypothesis. Just... Someone, some historian in the comments, tell tell me if like old accounts of stuff. Uh, a lot of them are like art artwork and such. Well, I believe that totally makes sense because we went from like cave art, right? Yes. To symbols, to then letters, to then and like a whole language. Egyptians you know? were just like the language was the pictures. I mean, not the yeah. language, <laughs> the, the writing form of the writing, language. The writing. Yo, what you if what if what if Egyptians just didn't have a writing system and they just drew random pictures all over everything and we're like, hmm, yes, this this means something what very. What's all mean? <laughs> How how did they translate that? Somebody was oh, like, "Oh wait, no, hey, wait, 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 was it was it? No, no, I'm thinking of something else. The Rosetta Stone, the Rosetta, Rosetta Stone, Stone was something completely different. The Rosetta Stone. But well, oh, man, I'm sure glad we have the Rosetta Stone because otherwise you would have been left that hanging. One lucky. Yeah, we would have been in the dark about that one. That was like, hmm. Okay. I, I feel like we as a humanity right now, we need to make our own Rosetta Stone, but I know there's the website Rosetta Stone, but that's online. We need like an actual you know, physical object that does like You want to like bury stuff. a physical thing yes. where you have like translate. Yeah, but there's no like languages that are being like newly developed because you don't we know don't okay, have a reason. So when the when the freaking no. half of the world gets eradicated because of Thanos. Right. And suddenly okay. everything's torn into chaos, and only fifteen percent of the population ends up remaining. Uh, people might want to know. I'm just saying. Really? And think about think about what what did the people who are making the Rosetta Stone think, huh? They were probably thinking, "Hey, this language is pretty neat. We should translate it, exactly. it just in case we all die." Yeah, it, it, that's what we should do. <laughs> I see what's happening here, and I, I don't like it. I see what's happening here. I am not face-to-face -face with greatness. This is a very terrible thing. This is very common. I know how I feel. Okay, I'm not, Dude, doing, the whole should... I'm not doing the whole song. <laughs> no, no, sh sh stop. No. Uh, thinking, thinking. Uh... There's a lot of weird. Uh, see, I, I was I was talking earlier about like the medieval artwork and stuff from way back in the day. Uh, hmm. uh, that's where like you know all the myths about like freaking dragons come from. Is a bunch of all these drawings of right. knights fighting dragons and also sometimes riding giant snails, which people often forget about. Uh, but like, the what, snails what are my you, favorite. <laughs> the sna my my favorite are the medieval snails. Well, I want that in my the next Skyrim game. Oh, okay, fine. Elder Scrolls snail. game. I'm sorry. I apologize. Uh, where you, you just get a <laughs> snail mount, and it's like the most broken mount in the game. That Max should, that armor. Should, <laughs> you can't die while you're on it. <laughs> uh, but, like, what do you think? Were, were they really just people, like, making up? They probably were. They were just making up stories. But what if there were, like, <laughs> two dragons left in the world? And they were, like, I don't know, dinosaurs <laughs> or something. That would be weird. Maybe they're located in some place in like the Alps or something. Yeah, that'd be wacky. It'd be really strange. That'd be really weird. It'd be pretty pretty weird. odd. It would be strange if sometime in oh. 2021, uh, specifically uh, July 17th, some people went up there and found them. It'd be odd. That'd be really weird. That would be really weird and yeah. good to know that it would be July 17th. That way, yep. nobody can tell them to run or anything yep, like that. No one could. It's a shame. Nobody. Nope, <laughs> the entire nope, crew did. died. Man, <laughs> I mean, Dang. D didn't die because it doesn't. It doesn't happen. Yeah, because there were no dragons. Obviously, there were no yeah. dragons. No, yeah, of course not. There. Sheesh. <laughs> what? Jurassic Park wasn't real. It wasn't an elaborate cover-up. <laughs> the elaborate cover. -up. <laughs> they turned it into a movie, and we're like, guys, look, see, it's a, it's just fiction. Guys, it's fiction, I swear. No, you know I what's really, not I fiction, saw... though? Isaac Newman. Okay, you Isaac do it your thing. Do it your thing. I was, no, I was, I was just going to make a real quick like, little comment. I saw a little um, comic yeah. on how um, bones are preserved, but we don't know the fat content of the, per of the dinosaur that died. Yes. So it could have been a really 
like pudgy dinosaur. It could have, wouldn't yeah. know. And it may have been really funny. But because like, because hey, they were, were supposed um, to be threatened. But because they were they're really big, uh, having too much True. fat would probably it's weigh them. It's like elephants. Elephants are relatively close to their skeleton, like elephants are proportions. Beefy. Uh, except I guess like the skulls. Uh, the skull. The skulls are like really weird. People were like, oh, it's, uh, people in olden times were like, ah, this is a cy- cyclops skeleton, because the nose hole was right. like in the place where the eye looks like it should be. Right, it's just a giant hole. So they're like, ah, oh, it's a cyclops, haha. Yeah, with no, a really weird no, shaped nose. <laughs> no, it was not. Yeah, but you know, you know whose skull is probably being preserved. <laughs> Someone, Isaac Newton. Isaac Newton. Also Walt Disney, but more importantly, <laughs> Isaac Newton. Yes. Um, I I never understood um keeping like the skull. I understand keeping like the brain. Yeah. Why? Why keep like the skull of a person? Not um, that I would know anything because, about. Because, <laughs> because most people, when they look at someone, it's looking at someone's face is often the way people get recognized, like people, facial recognition. So okay, the skull, looking at a... the skull, is the close is the closest thing okay, to looking okay. at the face. But if I showed you like a skull of like a dead person, mm-hmm. and could you compare that skull to like a variety of faces? Uh, I mean, it, it, it's it's cooler than like, oh, here's Albert Einstein's left big toe bone. That's wow, true. you'd much rather have like th- th- their brain, their consciousness maybe was contained here. We already had the consciousness discussion one time, did we? Yeah, we had. No, yeah, I don't think we had. Did oh, we? No, yeah, we no, didn't. we did. No, I'm losing no, track did. of the conversations oh, as I have in and out of the podcast. We can do we can do consciousness a different time, but it's, they they sliced up Albert Einstein's brain. I think. Yes, they, like they did. They turned it into slices. Uh, his brain is actually, I think. Please, I'm really not the best historian. I think it's actually somewhere in a museum. I feel like it's in some weird museum. and just has his brain. If I remember correctly. That's weird to think about, but okay. Um, what hope, is the old? What is the oldest like skeleton or like? Yeah, like let's say skeleton of someone like we knew the name of, like not not like tricking Neanderthals where it's like oh this like someone a uh, figure that was named like a figure we know. Yes, what's like the uh, oldest skeleton? I'm I'm not expecting you to know. I'm I'm really not. I'm, it's just like a more broad question of like an interesting thing. Like yeah, like like say like uh, pro- maybe something Sorry. from like Egypt. Like we know their yeah, name because it was like written there. Well, then King Tut, right? Like, well, he wasn't. De- he definitely wasn't the oldest person there, but he was probably I the guess. most significant. No, just most recognizable. Yes. Yeah. Pop culture is weird. Why do we recognize King Tut out of everyone? Because that's just the vault they found last. It was this freaking catacomb. Young, young teenager who married his sister and had like a bunch of deformities because you know they're d- incest. Um, right. Yeah. It's just like, oh, it's this cool guy. What? <laughs> what a radical dude. Yeah, I wouldn't trust myself in a position of power. Why did they trust a teenager? Well, because he heir uh, to the throne you. or whatever. Uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, what was the first who was the first queen or king of England uh, wait there's been a previous queen <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait which Elizabeth is this the third though like I it's think the it's third. the third yeah. yes okay no but look, what was the first one when did they first were like okay this guy's running everything go <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's let's use the funny it's website. Not, I mean, it's not a way. It's, it's not, search okay. engine, but it it's also a website. But uh, who was John? The first John. king of England. King Lear. No, I'm kidding. Uh, like, like, this is the first thing that popped up on like freaking Google. A fell stan was king of Wessex and the first king of England. James, what Roman number is that? That's sixth, I believe, of Scotland. Also became James I of England in 1603. Upon ascension to the English throne, he styled himself king of Great Britain and was so proclaimed. 
So what's the story? What's into the story? They literally just walk in and goes like, I, I, this, you know, this, this huge piece of land, it's mine now. It's mine now. Time to conquer the world. And then they tried to do that. And then they were good for a while. And then after America, like another... everything went south. <laughs> Including the war. That wasn't, oh, it's so weird to think about how like just America in general is such a young country. Oh yeah, it's like the baby brother of like so many, so like, many places. Seventeen seventy six. That's like, my uh, I cannot do mental math. Don't even ask me. You uh, were about born two seventeen seventy six. That's oh, too young. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, but like in terms of countries, just in general, it's it's like around two hundred years old. I don't mm, not yes, it's around two hundred three hundred years old. Uh, that yeah, because uh. 2020 2020 minus 1770 you probably already just did it yeah 244 uh it's 244 years old not even 300 years old yet and compared to other countries or it's like dude greece <laughs> uh yeah we don't have like an exact date on that one do we, <laughs> we uh, they've just been around how old like, is greece Drake, we gotta celebrate America's three hundredth birthday. We do. What? We'll be al- we'll be alive for that, right? Wait, no, no. We pro- maybe we might. If it's two hundred and forty-four now, we'll probably. I hope we're alive for the at least. average age of age of a person is seventy. I think that things it, the age then goes we'll further and further. The the pro- over the course of the years, the age limit gets longer and longer. So we'll likely live till then. Um, Dude, I'm gonna grab a babka and just like consume the whole thing. Greece It'll refers to the years 700 to 480. Ba, 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 ba. Archaic Greece saw advances in art, whatever, whatever. Classical yes, age of Greece, Greece was. I'm telling you, nobody knows. When did Greece start? And re- not that, not the, not the musical. Oh. <laughs> it's at Mar- March 25th, 1821. Haha, <laughs> you're so funny. You're so funny, Google. Ancient Greece. There we go. Uh, 8th century BC. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. They've got Normally, some. Normally, it is regarded some... as coming to an end when Greece fell to the Romans, but like it's still around. It's Greece is still like. Yeah, a the thing. people still lived. So, you know. They they still live. It's I don't care. 8th that. century BC. That's thousands of years old. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. Like, hey guys, hey guys, it's me, America. I'm 244. I'm That's like walking up to like your great, 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 great grandfather, and then just being like, "Pappy, look, I I made a I civilization." Made it. That's <laughs> good, child. <laughs> hey, look, Pappy, I've I've done it. I became a global superpower. It's like what? what? <laughs> Wait, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, slow down there. Child, this is not the way. Look, nuclear, you were supposed nuclear to that missiles, for your yeah! Oh, God. Ah, oh, atomics. That's another piece of physics. It's kind of it's it's kind of really weird that, like, America will never have, like, a total war ever again because the world will end. Yeah. No, no, it's we're in this state where if we go to war, it's, if, it's no. Over. If World War Three happens, it, nuclear war, it's and over. then we just all die. It's there's, there's, yeah. it's so weird that like there's just, uh, you know how they called like World War One the Great War because it was like, oh, we we don't need a sequel. <laughs> There'll never, never we be a worse war. Yeah, and then there was a war that was like, way worse on every level. Mm-hmm. Um, it's but like Which... World War Two was the actual like basically finale. There's, there's no way it can get like. It better be the fa- if there's a reboot. There I swear, <laughs> it's like okay, we're, uh, we're destroying all the nukes so we can finally go to war again. <laughs> it was it was two over. It was an S tier item, and it was banned from competitive. So now we can resume. <laughs> we can resume the competitive play again <laughs> for fun, oh, oh, for gosh. glory. <laughs> <laughs> The casual players were bit were very were complaining about rank loss, so yeah. we had to get rid of the. Sorry. Yeah. A little, a little like dark joke here, I guess. But I'd say for for fun mode would be like I don't know, like Vietnam and stuff like that, like the more oh, small God. scale things. No, stop. <laughs> Vietnam has really good food. <laughs> the guys, you know, has, we, I can't. We cannot kill them, guys. We can't kill them. Yeah. Sorry. 
Uh, we can we can maybe get rid of the South Pole, but you know, make That's, sure all the people are gone. The South Pole. Well, Antarctica is kind of important for you know the sustainability of the entire planet as to not get flooded. Oh, please, who cares about that? Okay, hold on. Well, we live Think in about... like right next to the ocean. <laughs> We'd have to all move. Which oh, I'd shoot, that'd be right. kind of inconvenient. Just saying. Be, Just saying. Um. I do enjoy living here. Dang. <laughs> so, hold on. How much of the Earth would flood if Antarctica it's, m- melted? It's about, it's about double all of the ice. So. Uh, there is still some uncertainty about the full volume of glaciers and ice caps on Earth, of course, because, you know, it, there's like a million of them. Nobody but if all of them were that. to melt, global sea level would rise ap- approximately 70 meters... 230 feet. Flooding every yeah. coastal city on the planet. Yep. yep. This doesn't sound very, very, fun. very fun. I need a map of that. Yo, someone in the comments, send me a link to a map. I don't even, can you, you can send links in YouTube, right? I'm you not, can, yeah. You can post links, but it doesn't like direct you, so you'd have to copy paste it. Cool. Yeah. Just, I see, if I see one Rick roll down there, you are getting banned from the channel. <laughs> That's a, that's what if a, I do? A joke. Oh, I mean, I get, I, I mean, I. What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Hey guys, welcome to discussing the universe w- with Drake. Hey guys, it's me Ty and Ty. Uh, hey Ty, how's it going? <laughs> y- yes, it's me Ty. I don't know why I have a higher pitched voice than you. That's really. That Ladies make and sense. gentlemen, my name is uh Drake. Well, welcome to discussing the universe with Drake. Anti. <laughs> yeah, that's how you sound. We all, I knew it. I knew it. There you go. You you know how like your your voice own voice sounds different like in your own head like or when you say yeah. it out loud even. Uh, yeah. What what if this whole time that's how I sound like? And just mm. everyone's just like, whoa, we we can't tell him that. It break break his mind. It would. That's why I won't say yeah. anything. Uh, okay. Anyway. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a bad person? The answer is yes. Perhaps. <laughs> uh, your vocals sound fine. No. Your voice. Only fine. Impossible. What? What answer do you want? Then? Slightly above fine. It is very slightly ab- above average. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, voices are interesting. I I'm on a few public Discord servers with like a bunch of people, and I join the VCs sometimes. I got cor- I got called corpse like fourteen uh, times. Yeah, it's I was like <sighs> it's like you know multiple people can have deeper voices. I mean, besides yeah. the fact that you're you're not as old as the corpse, but that's besides that's the point. How old yeah. is Col- well, he? Probably hasn't said it. I'd say. Guessing around like the people he hangs around, I'd say maybe twenty. 30? I'd say twenty-eight, no, close to thirty, mm-hmm. late late twenties. I'd say. Mm, yeah, late twenties. That sounds. If he's good. if he's in his early twenties, then I'm just like, okay, geez, stop flexing it's, on everybody. What kind of vocal cord steroids did you take? And dude? if he's <laughs> if he's in like I don't know his forties, then I'll be like, whoa, jeez. Because, you know, it sounds smooth. Yeah. Oh, Corpse's voice is butter. That That is true. I could learn a thing. Or two. Or maybe seven. I wouldn't often <sighs> say, like, I don't know, butter is that smooth. It's more like, you know, it's Melted slimy. Melted butter is pretty smooth. It's, I mean, it's pretty slimy to me, not gonna lie. Well, maybe you just, you lack vision. You don't understand how smooth butter can truly be. Hello. Um. Oh. What? Oh, I think you may have cut out. I My cut out. For, being I cut out for really a second, weird. I guess. Um. Oh, well, just repeat like the last bit of what you said, I guess. No, oh, I, I said um, you lack vision. You don't understand how smooth butter can truly be. Smooth truck. What? What is maximum smooth levels? What does that mean? I On guess fundamental it would level. Be- if we go all the way down to like the atomic level, it would be all of the atoms are perfectly in line. No, but that's that's just like a mirror. Same. 
And mirrors, I wouldn't say smooth. But of existence. Yeah, it would or have to be that, but it also have to be it also have to be like a semi solid. But it would have to be perfectly aligned, to where when yeah. you go over it, you don't feel any texture. It would just feel like it's moving like, through air. No, it would be even smoother than air. It, it would be, you you know how um, in Rick and Morty, where Morty's trying to set up like a shelf for Rick. Oh, and, and he makes his, the, 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 the most the level, level surface possible. Yeah, the perfect level. <laughs> and then Morty refuses to leave. You'd never be able to touch a physical object. Because everything again. would feel so, like, rough. Everything would feel so rough. Like, your hands would, like, start to bleed because it's so rough. Like, that's I'm not, what it would you be. know? Um, you, may, that, that might happen. But also, at the same time... um. In mm-hmm. real life, is that like mm-hmm. a really a thing that happens? Like every time you touch an object, like uh, you'll find a smoother object. Does that make all of a sudden all the rougher objects rougher? No, I'd say I'd say it's just exposure. Like if you touch like a really smooth marble, you can touch like a sugar cube. That's pretty rough and relatively the same size. And you could like it won't feel rougher. It'll just be like, oh, this is a sugar cube, you know. Or I guess sandpaper would be a better, better thing. Sandpaper. I've, I've actually, I've had my hands on sixteen thousand grit sandpaper before. What's, Dear the, God. what's the regular level of grit? Um, well, it goes up by like um by like tiers, so it goes from like four hundred to eight hundred to sixteen hundred to. If I go to like some sort of like I don't know freaking lows, what what do I get? Uh, you can get pretty much anything. Um, I think the highest Lowe's sells, like Lowe's specifically, I think they only sell up to 8,000. How do you know? That's what, that's what wait, I've wait, seen. You, go, you go to Lowe's enough so that you, you you know the levels of sandpaper? Oh, that's, wait I, a second, wait a second, you're in wood shop, I forgot. I have a, I you're work in wood on shop. Projects. I forgot. Yeah. Most, people, most people don't go to Lowe's on a regular basis, so I was very confused. I, 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 I visit the hardware stores. I am a tough big man, but... Um, yeah, I, I believe all they, the most they sell is eight thousand. But yeah, I got my hands on sixteen hundred or sixteen thousand. Yeah, and four hundred is like literally just rocks glued onto a paper. Mm. Sixteen thousand is more paper than paper could ever wish to be. Interesting. Like, it's so smooth, and and it's just like oh my. And I remember um, sanding with it, and I was just like oh. This wood is so nice. Do you think in the future we'll have paper cutless paper? Like the edges are like smooth and not like <laughs> the edges cutting? of the paper. Is smooth. No. Don't even ask me how. Don't even like. No, 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 no. It's I, I, I thought of something where you maybe like round off the paper, but no, yeah. that doesn't make any sense. It's too thin. It's way too thin. They'd have to it's find some thin. way to. You'd have to make paper thinner. I think what honestly people should try to do is like you know keep planting the heck out of trees and just make like tablets with like maybe wood cases instead of metal like yeah. wood is wood is the primary material like you can have like all the electronic bits and stuff you know but like yeah. imagine how cool it would be to have like a wooden tablet like You're i feel right. like it'd be that would be like, pretty cool like my tablet's made from mahogany or something like that like oh that would be pretty cool, cool. I have I have a wood in my room right now it's called coco bolo it's like a solid block of it it's from south africa and it's like this really hard wood because it grows in the desert. Um, and it's just like, it's so tough. And when I took it into Mr. Benny's wood shop last year, yeah, um, he was, and, and I asked him, I was like, hey, can I cut this on the bandsaw? And he's like, what is that? And I'm like, Coco Bolo. And he's like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. What? Um, but that, that would lead, I feel like that would just lead to more deforestation than we already have. And that's the problem is that we're quickly oh. running out of, you know, natural resources. And so any the problem, any single replacement that we have for, like, any other... Like, say, oh, we should replace everything plastic with wood. That would just mean we have less wood. And uh, Well, actually, um, the lumber industry accounts for about 50% of all the trees we plant. Like, they plant and replant, like, all the time. Well, they're still running out. We, we, we need some way to yeah, cap, mean, cap off to the, the human population, I feel like. Oh, you're starting to sound a little... Um, no, uh, I'm not saying kill people. I'm just saying people, okay. people need to stop having so much children. Jeez. Mm. 
Yeah. Like it, it is a actual problem though. Like Over even if oh it's like people are like oh the the earth can sustain I don't know what is it 8 11, 11 billion uh somewhere in that range. Um, yeah. it, do- it doesn't really matter because, you know, better. people are still using more and more resources, so it can sustain those people, yes, the world will be burning alive, but it can sustain them. <laughs> I was watching, um, I was watching Dr. Stone, great anime, by the way, and the plot is all the humans are turned into stone, and, um... For, like, how many years? For 3,000. Oh, yeah. And the main character's goal is to re is to revive. Oh, all they, of they, they, yeah, they start they start coming back. Like they start like yeah, they, they start like, coming back. So basically, the Earth has been like reset, basically. Yeah, exactly, and I thought like that's such a cool goal. And the soundtrack is amazing, by the way. I forgot to mention it in last week's episode, but right. specifically the OST "Strong Desire," such a good piano score, um, along with violin. It is truly amazing, and. Um, yeah, I listen to it. Well, I do things sometimes, but the goal is revival of humanity, which is awesome. But I don't think the planet, since it's been reset, I don't think it literally is capable of sustaining all of the humans all at once. Like you need to like rebuild first, you know. Yeah. It it just feels like it. I want it to happen so bad because it's such a good show, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> Uh, we we are approaching like as a society, we are approaching a really scary situation where like we're re- we're reaching the point where like when when does when do the government officials declare like okay um everyone is going to die and we kind of need to do something now or else we are all going to be dead and if it, if it nev- if people don't change or does the government just one day go like okay we're disbanding have fun. <laughs> Is that I what hope not, that that we're reaching that it, point? There's it's that's a that's a we, we feasible are, reality within the next you, few decades. You say that like it's something that's new that's going to happen, mm-hmm. but you know, he, the government does say, "Hey, we're going to die if people don't change," but people still have parties and stuff, you know. Yeah. And okay. Like, no. Yes, there's people dying, but like I'm talking about like millions of deaths. <laughs> right. Right, 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 right. Um, we're, we're in the hundreds of thousands of deaths right now, but we, we still haven't hit millions yet. I'm talking I about, like, um, really half of the population that. of America dying. Which is, that, that's a feasible thing that's going to happen in the next few decades if we don't stop burning the planet alive. The Earth is... Quite quite literally burning the planet alive. It's a, it's a sensitive place. That's what the Earth is. Yes. We're not treating it with the respect it deserves. Exactly. And that's yeah. why we should all become Amish, is the moral of the story. <laughs> that's not what I was going to go with. No, that's the, that's the moral of the story. We're talking on Discord. If you wanted to go Amish, you would hang up right now. Okay, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I was going to do it as a joke, then I'd have to I, reconnect. I was going to, I was going to, like... What if that's, like, just the end of the podcast? It just, like, stops. <laughs> and then it's just done. Uh... But no, we, we went from Isaac Newton and apples to the end of humanity, which I think was a... That's pretty that's pretty good. I mean, isn't that just the timeline of the planet? You're right. We went from people analyzing apples to people ending the world. It's all about escalation. Just yep. like, not gravity, because it's a consistent rate. Well, actually, consistent er, acceleration to a point, which is 9.8 meters per second. Or I guess nine point seven eight if you want to be all freaking who, who, who even does like uh, pi to like I don't know ten digits? Everyone just use, uses uses three point one four. There's a I, point where it's like just just once you get past three digits, I don't think it matters too much, unless you're yeah. working with I don't know like literally like atoms, <laughs> like precision that requires like twenty digits. Yeah. But all right. Well, do you have any last thoughts about gravity? Uh, do you believe in gravity? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't have anything, so I guess make sure you, you know, join the Discord. We yep. need more guest stars. We're exactly. happy to have quite literally anybody. Um, everybody has an Unless opinion. you're like, I don't know, a terrorist or something. But we actually, that'd make a pretty good discussion. Terrorists. No, it would not. There's okay, a pretty fine. easy... Fine, okay. Easy thing. Don't, 
Don't do that. Don't do terrorism. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, uh, follow the socials, ring the bell, like the video, all that jazz. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of discussing the universe with Drake and Ty, and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye.